Hi. In today's video, we're going to do a short meditation on cutting energetic cords and releasing and retrieving energies from previous partners. Now, this is something that you can also do with the partner that you are with right now because when you become so energetically intertwined, it's like you're always, always, always together because you're constantly sending energetic information back and forth. And this will open up space within your being for more, um, I guess you would say mystery, um, of let, letting there be more curiosity and uh, more of a magnetic pull between you and your partner because if you guys are already filled up with one another, then there's no space for more to come in. You're just stuck. So opening up more space energetically and removing cords will allow there to be a sort of a vacuum so that your partner will be more sucked into you, which is also something you really want to note if you are doing this with a previous partner because you want to disconnect from them because you're energetically connected to them before doing cord cutting, they will notice that disconnection. They will notice that there's a void space between you now that they're going to want to fill. So after this, know that it is highly likely that your previous partner will reach out to you again in attempt to reconnect so that they are able to um, feel that comfort of connection and possibly also feed off of your energy. And if you're done with the relationship, you certainly don't want the first and you never ever want the second. So know that um, you have to really stay firm in your boundaries after this, that when your partner potentially reaches back to you, that you are ready and willing and capable to hold yourself in your sovereignty and tell them that you are no longer interested in being in relationship with them um, or just not responding at all, both of which may, may need to be what happens. So we're cutting cords so that you can get this person out of your head. When you're connected energetically, you're constantly sending information back and forth through these energetic connections. And that's why you will have this person on your thoughts all the time. So removing these energetic connections is going to help clear them out of your head, out of your mind space. It's going to allow you to have more space of your own. So we're going to remove their energies and you will have more space to bring in energies that they've been holding of yours and energies of your your soul. So you're going to have space to be more you, more authentically yourself, more energized and enlivened. So go ahead and take a moment to get really comfortable. You can lie, you can sit, whatever feels good and close your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths. And sigh out, <sighs> releasing tension. <sighs> Feeling as though you can drop your energy, drop tensions into the earth below you, letting these things, these extra thoughts, extra energies from the day fall out of your body and into the earth, allowing you to feel heavier, allowing you to feel looser, more relaxed, more at ease. Could be a sensation of heaviness, could be a little bit of floating. And letting your energy your consciousness now fall down into the earth. I'm going to imagine going through layers of dirt and rock and oil and more rock all the way down 
to the center of the earth, connecting with the unconditionally loving ball of light that is in the center of our planet. And bringing this light, this connection back up into your body, up through your feet, through your legs, to your pelvic floor, up to your belly, your heart, throat, head, and now allowing your consciousness to continue moving upwards through the sky, all the way through our atmosphere and out into the beautiful darkness of space. Seeing yourself floating in this darkness and noticing that you feel totally safe here. Noticing that you can see perfectly even in this darkness. Allowing yourself to totally arrive here, taking a moment to acclimate. And now inviting in your partner or your previous partner to be here in this space with you. See them coming from perhaps a great distance to meet you here, or perhaps just bing, appearing right in front of you. You notice how you experience them. Do you see them, feel them, sense them in any way, in what way? And knowing that this is the higher self of your partner, not the personality, ego self that might fight you on what we're going to do here. A very highly refined aspect of your partner or previous partner. And now that they're here, notice what energetic cords are connecting the two of you. Where do you notice them on yourself connecting to this other person? Noticing the location what colors, what size, what density of these cords. <laughs> Knowing that you are connected to your higher self also and what you desire in this space is so. And that you have the capacity and the power to allow these changes, to create these changes. And so, in the best way possible for you, you will remove these cords from your being, from your energy field, and letting them fall away from you. Now you can pull them out of your body. You can just imagine them being disconnected. You can take a sword or a giant hedge clippers or any other tool that would serve you at this time is available to you now. 
go ahead and keep cutting or disconnecting all of these attachments. Now that you're disconnected, we'll take a moment to look at your partner and ask them if they would like to drop these cords of connection from their body and their energy fields as well, or if they would like to connect them to divine light. And whatever they answer, you can see happening. or if they would not like either of those, then that is their choice and they can do what they will with these empty connections. Now seeing where those cords were attached to your being, being filled with light, if those spaces need any healing, that healing energy is coming to cover what may be a space that needs some wound healing. The energies needed to close these connections more completely for you. And now you may likely have energies that are part of your original essence that need to be returned to you that are being held by your previous partner. If you are still in relationship and you want to allow these energies to stay where they are, that's perfectly fine. If you are separated, it is advantageous <laughs> to call these energies back for your health and well-being and the healthy separation of this relationship. So notice that with the intention of calling back all pieces and parts all soul fragments of yours that your partner is holding on to, whether they were taken through trauma or you willingly gave these away to support them or for whatever reason they may be in this other person. We're going to imagine them coming out of this other person and being in front of you calling out all of your energies, letting them float in between you. And we're gonna call in white light to clean these energies so that they are perfectly pristine, raised in vibration and ready to be reintegrated into your being. Seeing a shower of beautiful sparkling white light into all of these soul fragments, transmuting them into perfect clarity that your body will be able to easily and comfortably receive. And as this is happening, 
you will start releasing the energies that you've been holding on that belong to this other person and see these also in front of you and let them be cleansed Your previous partner may or may not allow these soul fragments back into their being. They may not be ready for that. And so they will, so they may perhaps stay in their energy field until they're ready to call them back in, or they may be ready to receive them now. You may or may not be privy to this information. So allowing that to happen if that's going to happen. And now calling in all of your soul energies that have been cleansed here in front of you. Invite them, welcome them back into your being, into the exact perfect place for them. A whole and complete reintegration of all of your energies whatever amount of time this needs to take to reintegrate now that you can bend time now and you can allow it to be done in this instant in the highest and best way possible Now that that is complete, I invite you to take a moment to thank your partner for the beautiful experiences that you had together and to thank your partner for the challenges that you experienced being in relationship with them and the growth potential that this has allowed you. You can express to them anything else you would like to share. You can express to them the love that you have for them at a soul level if you desire. See yourself putting a enormous, thick, thick, thick layer of glass-like substance in between you and this person if they are your previous partner and you no longer wish to have a relationship with them. If they are your partner and you're just doing a regular cleaning of energies, you don't want to put this up. But if this is your previous partner envisioning this wall between you so that these energies, these connections, cannot come back and you will not be sending or receiving any um, bits of energy. And now you can say goodbye to them and see them going off into space, going back where they came from wherever they are meant to be. Now bringing your full awareness back to yourself. Noticing how you feel after this. Noticing how you may feel more whole, more complete how you may feel more still and calm. Noticing how you may feel more joyful and loving. Just 
breathe in to these energies, into this spaciousness within yourself that you've created, into this wholeness of yourself. and allowing your awareness, your consciousness to now drift back down through the cosmos, through our atmosphere, back into the light of the sun that shines on us here on this beautiful planet and allowing yourself to come all the way back into your body Moving through your body and back into the ground, regrounding your energy. Feeling your awareness inside the earth. And again, coming back up into your body. Up into your heart space, centering here. few breaths into your heart, feeling your energy, brilliant, radiating light all around you. And when you're ready, giving your body a little wiggle, fluttering your eyelids, and allowing yourself to come back to the here and now. If you enjoyed this meditation, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to be notified of other videos that I have coming out each week. If you feel like this would be helpful to someone you know, please forward this video to them so that they may be supported by this meditation. And if you look in the description below this video, there's a link for a free 20-minute relationship deva meditation where you can tune in to the consciousness, the energy created between you and another person. You can use this to find clarity and the underlying love in any relationship, past, present, or future, romantic or not. I think you would really love it. So click that link, get the free meditation, and enjoy. I'm so happy that you watched this video, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.